Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss solving second degree trig equations using the quadratic formula. We use the quadratic formula when we can't factor an equation and we need to find the roots. So that's what we're going to do here. But before we begin, let's just review the quadratic formula. I'm going to write it up here. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, we're going to use that a little later. So for example number one, we can do it like we normally would. We're going to let x equal the trig function, which is sine of theta. And we're going to plug in. So x squared minus 4x equals 1. We have to get this equation equal to 0. So this 1 needs to be brought to the left-hand side. So x squared minus 4x minus 1 equals 0. Now the reason we need to use the quadratic formula to solve this is because this is non-factorable. I can't find any two numbers that would multiply to negative 1 that would add to negative 4. So therefore, this is a non-factorable trinomial. So we're going to use the quadratic formula. So let's just figure out what a, b, and c are. Remember, a is the coefficient in front of the x squared, so a would be 1. b would be the coefficient in front of the x, so this would be negative 4. And c would be the constant, which would be negative 1. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And instead of a, let's go ahead and put what it's equal to. So x equals what is negative negative 4? You should be saying positive 4 plus or minus square root of something over 2. Now is a good time to grab your calculator, so hit pause if you need time to get it. Okay, so now I would like you all to plug in negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1. This piece without the radical in the calculator. So parenthesis, negative 4, close parenthesis, squared, minus 4, open parenthesis, 1, close it, open parenthesis, negative 1, close it, enter. So you should get 20. Now normally if we were solving just for x and we were using the quadratic formula, we'd simplify the square root of 20 and do our little heart method, but that's unnecessary here. So what do we let x equal? We let x equal sine of theta. So can't we just say that sine of theta now is either equal to 4 plus radical 20 over 2 or that sine of theta is equal to 4 minus rad 20 over 2. Those are my two possibilities for sine of theta. So let's go ahead and simplify those fractions. So I'm going to focus on the top one first. So let's do this together. 4 plus second square root radical 20. In the calculator you should get 8.4. But we have to take that and we have to divide it by 2. Don't do it in one shot. Do it in two separate steps in the calculator. So you get sine of theta is approximately 4.236 dot 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 dot. How would I find theta? We would have to hit second sign. So you hit second sign, second answer, which is at the negative button. So hit second negative. And you get domain error. The domain error is because sign doesn't go over 1. So therefore, there's no solution here. So this is error. No good. Okay, let's take care of the other piece now. 4 minus radical 20. So go ahead, plug just the top into the calculator. You get about negative 4.72. And we're going to have to divide this by 2. So hit divide 2. And you should get about negative 0.236. So let's go ahead and write that. Negative 0.236 dot 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 dot. Now don't clear this out of your calculator because we want as many decimal points as we can for appropriate rounding. Now this tells me that sine of theta is negative. So which quadrants are we in? Well, we're going to need to draw ASTC. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to do it up here. So A, 
S T C. Sine is negative in quadrants two and I'm sorry, three and four. So we're going to need the reference angle. So how would we find this? We would do theta is equal to the inverse sine or sine negative one of 0.236 dot 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 dot. We don't put the negative in. Remember, the negative just tells us which quadrants we're in. So how do I put that in the calculator? How do I get rid of that negative? Because I want to do second sign, second answer. So I have all those decimal places. But let's put in second sign, negative second answer. You're basically multiplying the answer by negative one to make it positive. And you get 13.6. So I'm just going to review that one more time. In the calculator, you hit second sign, put in a negative, and then second answer. And then that way you're taking the inverse of sine of a positive 2 point, uh, point 0.236. Okay, so this 13.6, what do we say to round to? Nearest degree. So let's make this about 14. So that is your reference angle. So how do I find an angle in quadrant 3? We would do 180 plus 14. So go ahead and type that in. You got 194. And then how do I find an angle in quadrant 4? We would do 360 minus 14. So go ahead and type that in. And you should get about 346. So these are my two answers. Do I need to reject anything? Are 194 and 346 within the interval 0 to 360? Perfect. All right, I think we're ready for example number 2. OK. Um, 3 cotangent squared theta minus 3 cotangent theta minus 1. So we're going to let x, still in the same breath, let x equal cotangent theta. So 3x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals 0. This would be great if we could factor it, but we can't. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of something over 6. So just like the other problem, let's figure out what that is. So parentheses, negative 3 squared in the calculator, minus 4, open parenthesis 3, close parenthesis, open parenthesis negative 1, and close parenthesis. You should get about 21. So what did we let x equal? x was cotangent theta. So cotangent of theta is equal to 3 plus or minus rad 21 over 6. So what would tangent be? You should be saying that tangent of theta would be 6 over 3 plus or minus rad 21. Okay, now in the calculator, we're going to branch this off into two possibilities for tangent of theta. So tangent of theta is either going to equal 6 over 3 plus rad 21, or tangent of theta is going to equal 6 over 3 minus rad 21. So the best way to put this into the calculator is to use parentheses. So we're going to do 6 divided by parentheses 3 plus radical 21, close, close, and hit enter. And you should get about 0.79128 dot, 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 dot. Let me repeat the steps again for the calculator. You're going to do 6 divided by parentheses 3 plus radical 21, close, close. The bottom needs parentheses, otherwise the calculator is going to divide 6 by 3 and then add the 21, and that's not what you want. So now how would I find theta since I still have this decimal in my calculator? We would hit second tan, so maybe I'll put it up here for theta. Theta is equal to tan negative 1 of 0.79128. So you're going to do second tan second answer. And you get about 38.3. So that rounds your theta to be about 38. Okay. 
So is tangent positive or is tangent negative? Well, we see right here that it said tangent theta is a positive 0.791. So we might as well finish this one because I'm here. So A, S, T, C. Tangent's positive here and here. We already have the angle in quadrant one, which is 38. And the T is for quadrant three. So how do I find an angle in quadrant three? We would do 180 plus 38. So go ahead and type that in. And you get 218. So that is my other answer. Let's just check to see that it's in the interval between 0 and 360. Right up here. Yep, perfect. Here and here. Okay, now we have to do the other angle. So let's go ahead and type the bottom one here into the calculator. So 6 divided by Remember, this needs to be in parentheses, so 6 divided by parentheses, 3 minus rad 21, close, close. And you get about negative 3.791 dot, 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 dot. So tangent is negative. So what quadrants are we in? All right, I'm going to put this over here. I apologize for the messy work. Maybe I can fit it down here. Let's see. Yeah, I'll put it down here. Okay, so tangent is negative here and here. So we now have to figure out how to find this reference angle theta. It's going to be the inverse of tan of positive 3.791, dot, dot, dot. How do I put that into the calculator? We're going to do second tan, negative second answer. close the parenthesis, and you should get theta is about 75.2, or about 75 degrees. That's my reference angle for quadrant 1, but all I care about is quadrant 2 and 4. How do I find an angle in quadrant 2? 180 minus 75, so go ahead and type that in. You get 105. And then how do I find an angle in quadrant 4? Should be 360 minus 75 and you get 285. Let's check the interval. Okay, I think the interval is 0 to 360, so we're good. This one and this one are two answers and the other two up here, the 38 and the 218 are the other answers. Okay, your homework's in the back. Try the two questions, see how it goes, and we'll definitely go over those tomorrow. All right, bye.